like your hell cut. What's up everyone, it's your boy Sora and welcome to the NUR Feature Spotlight. In this video, I'll be showcasing to you all some of the features that me and my team have been working on for the past few months on the server. Keep in mind that things are still in development and what you could see today may not be the same in the final product once, released, once we release for our third beta. So let's get started with the biggest change, the leveling system. The previous spec and leveling system has been replaced. Aiming to make Inuar feel more of an RPG, we combine both aspects into something we call classes. Okay, So one thing I want you to pay attention to right off the bat is the scoreboard over here. All right. Notice that the scoreboard has changed based off what it was previously. The top up here gives you your specialization. Right now, once you start and start a fresh account on the server, you'll be considered a generalist. Okay. A generalist is essentially someone who specializes in all specs. You dabble a little bit in taijutsu, you dabble a little bit in different other specs as well. A bottom there showcases your level, your health, your chakra, your max chakra, as well as stuff we call time space. All right, I'll get more to that later on. Let's talk about the specialization first. When it comes to these classes, there are three different specializations you'll be able to choose from from the start. It is highly recommended that you choose one of these specializations and do not be a generalist as generalist gives you no type of improvement over your base stats. I'll get to more of that here in a second. At the start, you'll be able to choose between three classes, Taijutsu, Genjutsu, and Ninjutsu, which entails a different specialization for the Naruto series. These classes will determine how your character's base stats will grow. For example, Taijutsu users will have more physical attack damage than the other classes. However, Ninjutsu users will have more speed than the other classes. You can access the classes by simply typing in slash class. From here, you'll be presented with a screen that goes over the different types of specs or classes you can choose from. Depending on which spec or class you choose from will dictate how your base stats grow, as showcased at the bottom. As I said before, Taijutsu will give you more attack damage with the cost of health regen. Genjutsu will give you more overall health regen, more overall health, but with a subtraction of movement speed, so I guess you can consider this more so the tankier type of class. And Ninjutsu will give you more movement speed and more skill damage with the cost of maximum health. To choose a spec, all you have to do is just click on it. In order to choose a spec, you must have something called uh, class points. Class points will be given out periodically via events and also other in-game quests. So let's go ahead and pick a class right quick. So let's say I want to be a Taijutsu user. I give you a confirmation, and all of a sudden you become a Taijutsu user as showcased down here. Also notice how my specialization has now changed to showcase that I'm a Taijutsu user. Also, a few other things have changed as well. When I was a journalist, my health or my base health was 20. However, now because I chose to be a Taijutsu spec, my base health is now 22. There's been a variety of changes that have went through that have affected my base stats now that I'm a Taijutsu user. Notice how in your action bar down here, you now can see your health numerically, a resource that we'll talk about here in a second, as well as your armor on top of the usual GUI that you'll usually see. So now you have three places in order to view things like your health, your resource, and your chakra. Let's talk about this resource for a second. Each class has a different type of resource, whether if it's a Taijutsu, Genjutsu, or Ninjutsu user. These resources tie into separate passive and skills that each spec has, replacing the spec jutsus that you might have once known. Taijutsu users have something called consistency, which increases while you which increases while you're in combat. The more consistency you have, the more damage you can dish out. And it's needed to activate your passive and skills you have unlocked. So, this number will increase the more I'm in combat. So let's check that out right quick. So I have me a zombie at right here that I'm about to spawn a zombie in. Might even go up a level right here. So I'm going to spawn this zombie in right here. And as you're in combat, watch how my consistency goes up. It's now at 5.8, 8.3. Okay? 
So just like that, my consistency went up, and that allows me to use my different skills and abilities that you'll learn as you level up the spec. We won't be showcasing the passive and skills in this particular feature video, but we will in the future. Now my consistent amount of combat, or some tagged out of combat, my consistency will go back down to zero. Decrease the amount of damage also decreases my ability to use my skills and passives outside of combat. Alright? Alright. So, each class can also evolve to new class specific to the original classes that you can choose from. So, whenever you get to a certain level, you have the option to evolve your classes. For example, a Taijutsu user, once reaching upon a certain level, can evolve into a Kenjutsu user, increasing the overall base stats, and give you different skills and abilities and passes. A nin Genjutsu user will eventually evolve into a Bakujutsu user, which again can be the same thing. Kenjutsu users are skilled when using swords and other types of weapons of the sort, whereas a Bakujutsu user is skilled in using weapons in general from shurikens and kunais and stuff like that. A ninjutsu user will eventually evolve into a medical nin ninjutsu user. This gives you the ability to not only heal yourself, but other people as well, creating a medic class inside the game for raids and dungeons that we'll talk about in another video. With that out of the way, and with us talking about classes, let's move on to something different. So for starters, by doing slash P, you can see your shinobi page. This gives you all your characteristics inside the game. For example, right now, I'm currently level 1. I have 1 XP. I need 400 in order to move on to the next level. I have 0 skill points. I have 2 class points. Right here is going to be the different professions that you'll be able to level up in game as well as a bit of information about them. We'll talk more about that later on. Down here are your four types of attributes. Each attribute has been streamlined to four types, and each type of attribute boosts up a certain stat. The four type of attributes you have are strength, endurance, control, and speed. You can look at the, your attributes independently by typing in slash attributes. From here, you can use attribute points in order to increase your overall attributes. Strength will increase your attack damage, health regen, and max health. Endurance will increase your stamina, stamina regen, and armor. Speed will increase your movement speed, projectile damage, and attack speed. And control will increase your skill damage, cooldown reduction, and additional experience. This gives an even greater idea or greater possibility of customizing your character to best suit your fighting style. Alright, so let's watch this in action. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to give myself a level, okay? From there, we'll use the attribute points that we get in order to increase one of our attributes, all right? So I might end up cutting this part out, but we'll get right back to it. All right, so I've gave, I've gave myself a couple of levels. Now I'm level three. Notice how without me putting any type of points to my attributes, my overall health has increased. That's because each class has a base amount of stats that you'll get each time you level up. Now, if everything's going according to plan, I should now have some attribute points that I can use. So I'm going to type in slash attributes, and well and behold, I have one attribute point that I can use at the moment. So, you can use attribute points to increase your general attributes. However, each attribute can only be increased by a maximum of 40 points. So, depending on what level you are, and depending on how you want to build your character, your distribution of attribute points will be critical and important. So let's say I want to increase my overall strength to some of the to use. I'll put into my strength. I've leveled my strength. And as you notice, my health has increased. Why is that? That's because using the attribute strength increases my maximum health, my attack damage, as well as my health regeneration. So over time, my health will regenerate faster. My damage has increased by 0.1%. My max health has increased. By, my max health has increased by 1% as well. Depending on your clan, will dictate how you want to build your character. Something else to know as well is that no matter what, as long as you have class points, you can always switch between classes. 
So let's say instead of being a Taijutsu user now, I want to be a Ninjutsu user. If I have class points, I can switch over to a Ninjutsu user, and you'll be prompted with a new type of stats. Ninjutsu users uses a resource known as momentum, and momentum, unlike consistency, increases outside of combat over time and allows you to utilize your different passives and skills. Notice how my base health is now 18 compared to my base health as a Taijutsu user being 22. That's because a Ninjutsu user's health is going to be end up being a lot lower than that of a Taijutsu user's. So depending pick on what clan you want to, or which class you want to use for what clan will dictate how your stats will grow. A new feature that we've added is the ability to switch back between clans or classes you already played as and maintaining your progress. For example, if I have enough class points, if I want to switch back to Taijutsu user, I, it doesn't erase my information. So if I switch back to Taijutsu user, you'll see that all my information will have been saved and I can start back where I left off at, my Taijutsu user being at level 3. This gives you a freedom to choose on the fly between the different class you want to try out and play as, and you can level up each class up separately. There's no one main level anymore. Each class is a level on its own. And as long as you have class points, you can freely switch between them. Alright, that's enough about classes and attribute points. Let's move on to a few other things. Let's talk about professions. So, as you can see, if I use slash P, you have three professions. Mining, hunting, and fishing. In this, in this feature video, I'll be showing you mining and fishing, and hunting will be showcased in a different video later on down the line. So, let's talk about mining first. In Barbaros right here, there is a blacksmith. Which is located right here. Barbaros has a blacksmith as well as other settlements around the land also have blacksmith. Each blacksmith will allow you to build different types of materials and items. If I click on blacksmith ray right here, you can see I have the ability to build or have him build different types of items such as weapons. However, different weapons require a certain level as well as different ingredients. These ingredients can be found or gotten simply by going mining or by going fishing and killing other mobs. So let's take a trip to the mine in order to show you how mining works. Now usually at spawn you can go to settlements and this option will be available to you. However, to make this more of an RPG experience we added waypoints. Waypoints are located by these wagons that you'll see scattered around the map. There's a gold block. Simply by pressing shift on the block, it opens the waypoint menu. This allows you to teleport or fast travel to different locations that you have visited throughout the world. Right now, only the spawn and my boroughs is open. Using fast travel uses something we call time space, which is located over here. If you have no time space, you cannot fast travel, so being able to understand and when and where you should fast travel is essential. Time space does increase over time. So for now, I'm going to use slash warps to the mines in order to go to the mines right here. There's a fast travel point. Let's go ahead and register this fast travel point to our waypoint GUI. We do this by simply going to the gold block and pressing shift. You'll hear, you'll see particles and hear a bit of music play, indicating that the travel point has been successfully registered to your waypoints. By pressing shift again, we'll see that the mines have been unlocked. Let's say I want to go back to Barbaros. Well, I can fast travel there by simply clicking for five times space. As long as you don't move for five seconds, you'll be teleported back to Barbaros' waypoint, like so. That costs five times space to ever regenerate over time. But for now, let's go back to the mine. Going back, let's not move. We are now back at the mines. With our trusty stone pickaxe, Let's go down here. Mines are a centralized location that everybody can use in order to go mining at. It's located in the land of fire and must be discovered via the main quest. Here is some iron ore. Mining iron ore will give you iron that you can use for different for other types of things. Let's mine a bit, shall we? So all you have to do, just like in Minecraft, is mine up the iron, and there's a chance that iron will drop. Like so. What do you know? I got an iron ingot. 
Let's keep mining to see what else we can get. Oh, that dropped more than one that time. You just mine all this up. And as you can see, as you mine, the iron ores disappear. However, these iron ores were generating this cave over time as they are mined together. Meaning, eventually, that iron ore you just seen right here will reappear somewhere else in this cave. Making mining more dynamic. Something else I want you to pay attention to is once I mine, my mining skill goes up as located at the bottom. As you mine, you can now level up your professions and this increases your efficiency when mining. Right now, I'm currently level 1. Once my progression bar goes up, I'll be mining level 2 and I'll be able to mine at a more efficient rate. Since we're talking about professions, let's try fishing next. Let's go back to Barbaros. And let's go over to the river near the trading ground. Ooh, messed my double jump there. Huh. Alright. So here's a river that we'll use in order to do a little fishing. So you can see how dynamic fishing is. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to spawn me in a fishing rod. Just like Minecraft fishing, you'll launch the lure and you'll wait for a bite. However, fishing is now more dynamic than ever. Because once a bite, or once you get a bite, you actually have to fight the item in order to reel it in. It's not just a simple click anymore. This makes this fishing more dynamic and more involved. Watch. You have a bite. You've caught a fish. We're going to right click super fast, and boom. At that time, I didn't get a fish. It's just like I got me a gold coin. From fishing, or from fishing, you can get a variety of different items from them, from different ponds, lakes, and rivers, depending on where you're located at, and depending on which land you're at. In this case, I farmed up some gold coins. Fishing can be another efficient way in order for you to farm things like prismarine shards that can be used and traded in for jutsu fragments for you to learn more jutsus. By fishing, I've gained some EXP. Alright, now that I have some iron, let's go see if we can craft something. We just wolf back to Barbaros. Let's go to the blacksmith. And let's try to craft us some steel ignits. Actually, we're not high enough level to craft some steel ignits. So instead, let's craft some kunai box sets and some shuriken box sets. So, for the kunai box sets, we need wooden sticks. We don't have any wooden sticks, but we can craft shuriken for 8 iron ignits. Let's do that. By simply left clicking, you can craft. By right clicking, you can preview the item and it'll tell you what it is. Here, a shuriken box set for 8 iron ignits will give me 20 shurikens. Let's do that. Left click. We have crafted our shuriken box set. Some items that can be crafted require a time limit and they'll be queued up depending on the item at hand. So for example, let's say if I wanted to craft a sphere or a basic sphere. I'll need wooden sticks, so let's go ahead and give me some wooden sticks here. We'll click on the blacksmith, go over to the sphere, and let's craft us a sphere. As you can see, it's entered into a queue. Certain items will take a certain amount of time for it to fully be crafted. However, once it's ready, you can claim it, and you now have a sphere. Different items can also be upgraded, increasing the amount of damage they deal. For example, right now, this basic sphere only deals 3 damage. However, if I decide to upgrade it for 2 iron ignits, it will then become a basic sphere plus 1, increasing the amount of damage it does over time. You can upgrade different items in game an infinite amount of times depending on and if you have enough resources for that particular item. Alright, it's like we talked a lot about different types of items and different types of features in this game. We are dedicating ourselves to make this game as much of an MMORPG as possible in order to provide a lot of different aspects for players to enjoy outside of the usual Naruto based systems such as questing, fighting, raiding. Hopefully these different features will keep you involved and want to keep playing on our server. 
Expect different types of feature videos in the future showcasing more features as far as different clan revamps, different main quests, dungeons, raids, and more. At this current time, there is no release date for NUR's third beta. Hopefully, we can have all of this up and running and for you to be able to enjoy by the end of this month. Alright then, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.